All right, guys, today we are in Maslin, Ohio, and we're gonna go into this Target over here and see if we can find some Halloween goodness. Thank you, automatic doors. So I see a little bit of spookiness right in the doors. Look at this, I like these battery-powered candles. These are awesome. These are only five bucks for two of them, too. Those are kind of expensive if you buy them out of season. We got a little candelabra here and hmm potion bottles look it says bone dust and snake oil what's this little bottle here i guess this is yeah just another uh potion bottle oh color changing so it lights up and changes colors and we have a crystal ball here with a golden hand holding it i wonder if you can i was wondering if maybe you could put stuff in the crystal ball and i don't think that it turns on does it no, I guess not. I thought maybe it turned on and lit up or something. But here we got these candle holders. This is pretty cool, actually. A skull, and then there's a skeleton hand there. And these hold big candles, too. Like, you can kind of see, if you put it up here and put one of the electric ones on there, how big of a candle it actually uses. And this hand one is awesome, because look, you put it upside down like that. How cool is that? Look at this, it's like the planter boots, only it's mummy boots and witch boots. <laughs> this is cool, little boxes that are shaped like coffins. Like you can either set them up like this on a shelf or you could, I don't know, I mean, I guess you could put them any way you wanted to for whatever kind of decorations you're going for. And what's this one, a haunted house? Yes, it's a haunted house. That is pretty cool, I like those. Little lanterns here. I bet these, yeah, these are battery operated. Spiders, spider webs, witches, spooky tree, bats. And look at all this stuff that's like party favor type stuff. I mean, socks are not party favors. Whoa, holy crap, look, we got a Halloween duck. There's only one left and he's a mummy. I love it. Look at that, he's got little spiders on him. That is too funny. And what the heck is this? It's a light up baton you probably twist that pumpkin on top there and then it lights up and it's all sparkly we got these that you stick on your windows like the gel clings and what is this it's a ball with ghosts inside are there others okay that's like numbers we got pumpkins um what else Ooh, purple bats that's cool i bet you anything these light up too Halloween light up ball and they're only a dollar. I don't know how to get them. You probably have to throw it on the ground and make it bounce to make it light up and I'm not gonna do that. I wonder if there's skeletons among these. I don't see any skeletons, but those are pretty cool. What in the world is this though? Artsy, spooky, sensory foam. Oh, I know what this is. Look, it has eyes in it and the foam you like massage it and it makes crackles and stuff. Oh, it's glow in the dark too, how cool is that? That's only three bucks, there you go. That's what you do, you mix the eyes in and you just kinda play with it and it makes crackly sounds. Look, this is cool, this is not Halloween-y, but you could use these to make your own potion bottles. You could even put lights inside, pretty cool. Here's spice jars that are shaped like pumpkins. I know you guys wanna get to the major Halloween stuff in here, but it's all so cool. Look at this, little buckets, little Charlie's buckets, a ghost, and a pumpkin, and this one just says boo. Oh, and they have carving pumpkins. Oh my gosh, guys, I have two pumpkins at home just waiting for me to carve them. They're about twice the size of these, though. That's cool. I love the pumpkins that have the giant stem on them. That's so Halloween-y. Look at this. This makes me want to go home and carve a pumpkin right now. Of course, there's always awesome Halloween cards. I would love to just load up on these cards. Oh, how cool is this? They have the Peanuts Halloween Great Pumpkin stickers. You gotta love the Peanuts, man. Let's just look at a couple of these uh, cards here. Look, this is Baby's First. It's Elmo in a pumpkin. This is Eekaboo. Happy first Halloween to cute little you. And look at this one. What's the best part of Halloween? Wolfing down candy, beautiful scenery, 
gorgeous costumes. Oh, unwinding after trick or treat. Look at that mummy. That is hilarious. Seeing photos on the web. All of it. Hope you have a terrific day. Okay, just by going with uh, years past, the Halloween stuff should be like down here and around the corner. I mean, it's really all throughout the store, but the stuff that you guys are waiting to see and that I'm waiting to see. Ooh, wait a minute. Look at these pumpkin blankets. How cool is that? That's only 10 bucks too. That is awesome. And man, that is soft and warm. Yes. So here we are, guys. Look at this. This whole section here is becoming Halloween right now. There's a lot of stuff that's being unboxed and put out down here. I'm going to try not to interrupt them. But look at this. There's also a ton of stuff down here. And I cannot help but begin with this. What in the world. I've never seen anything like it. This is giant pop masks. Look how huge this thing. Look, just with my hand up there, you can see how big that is. That is awesome. <laughs> how in the heck do you keep it on though? Oh, I see. You got a giant strap here. You strap it around your head or apparently you hammer it into your head. <laughs> oh my gosh, I just cannot get over how big these are. Okay, so let's look. We have Jack Skellington. We have Sally. We have the Cat Woman. We have Batman. Yes, look at that. That is hilarious. We have Minnie and Mickey. And then we have Ursula and Maleficent. These are so awesome. Apparently they are exclusive to target also so you're not gonna find them anywhere else all right guys let's just go ahead over here and start in the very first aisle where they have halloween stuff now first of all we can't ignore the awesome trick-or-treat buckets look at this we got green and blue and pink and clear and orange that is awesome so yeah, they're still setting things up. So some of these places are kind of scant, like in here. But here's just like a whole bunch of costumes. And look at this. This is pretty awesome. Inflatable Mario Kart costume. That is cool. And look at this one. Oh my gosh, inflatable Yoshi. <laughs> look how long the legs are. All right, we got some Halo stuff here, some Minecraft weapons, Minecraft costumes, um, Apex Legends and Overwatch, whatever that is. But let's keep on moving on here. Wait a minute, look at this. This is the kind of stuff I like to find because it's hilarious. Giant taco costume. <laughs> look at this. Oh my gosh, I want to be a giant. I want to eat a giant taco right now. We got the tomato ketchup costume. Okay, so we have like these one-piece bodysuits here. They have a lot of these at Walmart. They're not the same. They're not put out as costumes at Walmart. They're put out as pajamas. But look at this. We have a unicorn. We have a shark. And these are the ones that I like. The bee. This is actually not... A, I mean, it is a one-piece, but it's not the same as these. Like these plush, soft things. Here's one, though, that's a chicken. Look at it. Look at the kid in that picture. That is hilarious. All right, they have a bunch of just basic costumes and stuff, but I'm over that. I want to look at this stuff. We have the gold skeletons and the white skeletons. I still don't quite understand the concept of the gold skeletons. Like, if you guys know what people are using gold skeletons for, let me know. They look cool. I just don't really get it. The white ones, though, are awesome. And what do I hear? What the heck? Is it this? Is it this? Oh, it's this pumpkin guy back here. Oh, sounds like you farted. Well, he was making spooky sounds. All right, let's see if we can get him going again. I don't even know why he started. How weird. He's not working with the button, but he was just randomly being haunted. Here we go. Oh, he turns his head, too. That's pretty cool. There's all kinds of little, like, haunted sounds there. And here goes this one again, just randomly. <laughs> There's witches and owls. Anyway, so these are groundbreakers. I thought maybe they were also like these that hang up, but they're groundbreakers. You just put them on the ground just like that. Let's see if Mr. Skelly's eyes light up here, too, because... Yeah, look at that. 
They're green. How cool is that? Life-size coffin. It's cardboard and just unfolds to make the coffin. Look, we have a floating ghost. It's just like a mask. Does it light up or anything? I don't think it does. I think it's just the mask and like the ghost gown or whatever you want to call it. And you hanging up, hang him up and he looks spooky. Especially if you hung him up outside and he was blowing in the wind. And this is one of those living tree things. So I don't know if you can see this, it's pretty dark. But you take it and put it on the tree and it looks like a face with arms. And I've seen these out a lot too. It's a witch that you wrap around a tree and it looks like she crashed into it. All right, let's look at these spooky hanging guys. Cause this guy is really intriguing. I think he's got a button, does he? He's got a wire. Yeah. I don't know what he's saying, but he sounds awesome. And his face lights up green. And if you look, his hands also light up green. That's pretty cool. <laughs> All right, we have the hanging ghoul, too. Now you can't really see. There is a face in there. ghostly sounds and she said something but I'm not sure what this must be you must just have to unfold it and let it hang like the rest of them but it's all folded up in there so all right we got this guy too look he's in shackles all right here's his button yeah oh look he moves his shoulders back and forth <laughs> I remember hearing that one last year. I forgot about that. You might get a boo-boo. All right, we got this spooky fellow. Let's see what he does. Look at the eyes. That is super quiet. I would hope you could turn him up a little bit because you can't hear him at all. I like this guy too. Look at his orange hands. Oh, I caused him to light up. Okay, hold on. Is he going to make sounds? His face is lit up. His hands are lit up. I like that guy. I guess he doesn't make any sounds or anything. But he does look cool. I'd like to see him lit up at night. All right, let's check out this little hanging skeleton guy here. I like the sound of his voice. Hey, happy Halloween! <laughs> That's a hilarious laugh. We got one more here. Um, that one's not turning on, but he looks pretty cool. Look, it looks like he's saying, yo, what's up? We got a couple of inflatables here. Look at this Jurassic World T-Rex skeleton. He's seven feet tall. All right, we got all the Day of the Dead stuff out here. Um, oh look, we have these little trees that look like candy corns and black trees and all this stuff where you can set up like your own little Halloween town. Okay, this is funny. Look at this. We have black cat, black skull, black owl, and then golden cat, golden skull, golden owl. This cat reminds me of Katy Perry and the owl reminds me of Clash of the Titans. Oh here's those wire props. Oh my gosh look at this one. It's a wire prop of a dog wearing a shark costume. Okay wait we have inflatables. Let's start with these first. Okay right here we have a pumpkin hot air balloon. That is actually pretty cool. Nine feet tall, that's only 80 bucks. That is pretty awesome. And look at this one. It's a skeleton holding a pumpkin, just leaning against a tree or whatever. Seven feet tall. We got a skeleton on a bike, bringing pumpkins to the Halloween party. An enormous eight foot skeleton right here. Is that, that must be his legs that are bent up like he's sitting on the ground. We got a seven foot Jack Skellington, a six foot Boo with pumpkins, a spooky ghost, 
a pumpkin stack. And of course you have to have the inflatable cat. And then we have a big one down here. It's a 12 foot reaper. Let's see if I can get it up here. Ugh, yeah, look at that. That is pretty cool. Okay, back to the wire decorations here. We have a boo ghost, a skeleton trick-or-treater, and a black cat. I love how the eyes and the ears are yellow. All right, let's look at the ones in boxes. Look, it's a little ghost coming out of a pumpkin. That is hilarious. A couple of pumpkins here. This is a bat. Here is the yellow-eyed cat, uh, the trick-or-treater, the boo ghost. We have a couple of skulls here. Here's a big pumpkin, another trick-or-treater dressed like a skeleton with his little pumpkin bag. A ghost. Oh, look, we have a lantern. Oh my gosh, the place is falling apart. <laughs> we got an owl and then another pumpkin stack and another skull stack. So this is not a wire sign, but it's just like a big wall skull. 15 inches tall. These are really cool. Look, we got a ghost and a bat and a pumpkin and a skull. And if you look at it, there's lights. It's flickering. And those lights come from out, I guess, from behind the ghost. And what in the world is this? It's a half orange, half, is that pink? Pumpkin, it looks like a fishing bobber. Oh my gosh, look at these little figures. We have a ghosty and a pumpky. And then we have a witch with her broom and two candy corn buddies. And look at this little owl friend right here. And no, it's not an owl, it's a regular bird, but he's dressed up like a skeleton. Why did I call him an owl? I think this boo sign lights up. Oh yeah, here's a button back here, let's see. Yeah, that's pretty cool. All right, then we have a light up pumpkin here. Yeah, look at that, I like that, I like that neon. This is an awesome pumpkin wreath here with the black and orange uh, ornaments around it. Some of them are sparkly. That looks really cool. So these are battery operated. They're color changing, well, ghosts. And then we have skulls here and pumpkins. Oh, there's a little one back here too. That's cool. But look at this. You can see where he changes colors. Green. What's each? Blue, I guess that is. And then I thought there was a red in there, too. There, Oh, there's a purple. And back to green, it looks like. Oh, cool. We have a light-up spooky sign, too. All right, hold on. Let's push the button. Hold on now. Give me a button. I'm going to push it. There we go. Pretty cool. Put it right back in place. Thank you. Oh, my gosh. We have more friends down here. Look at this. It's a jack-o'-lantern with a candle and their best friends. And then we have a skeleton and a coffin, and they are best friends. We have big and little lanterns, pumpkins, these foam pumpkins down here, more lanterns. Look at this, these are little foam pumpkins. Oh, look at this, I bet these are the pumpkins, the string lights that sing. Yes! All right, let's do the ghosts. It's just flying through the air. The jack-o'-lantern's grin will stand. It's Halloween time once again. Say hello to my little friend. That is hilarious. Oh my gosh, guys. All right, here we go into the skeleton things. The things that crack me up the most about all the skeletons are things like this snake. Look at this. This is enormous. What? That, that is at least five feet long. A snake skeleton. Look at this, we have an alligator, or it's a crocodile, I guess there's a difference. Crocodile skeleton. Oh my gosh, look at this one, guys. This reminds me of the Goonies crossbones. Groundbreaker skeleton hands and feet. Oh, cool, look, yes, I saw some of these at Party City yesterday. They were a little bit different, and they were black. I actually bought four of them, I think, maybe even five. Perfect for Halloween cereal. All right, let's look over here at these things while there's nobody setting up in this area. Oh my gosh, we have a lot more to look at. Hold on, I can't pass this up. I gotta look right now. Six foot pumpkin man. What the heck? That's not an inflatable either. That looks more like a blow mold. Six feet tall, that is so 
awesome. <laughs> okay, wait a minute. What do we have over here? Ginormous sound motion activated spider. And then we have a street lamp with the pumpkin on top. That is cool. And then these are more like blow mold type pumpkins. Look, that's supposed to be ribs on that pumpkin boy. There's a pumpkin face, there's an orange one. I love the faces on these pumpkins. Here's smaller ones here. And look, this one's supposed to be like a vampire pumpkin. All right, let's come back out here. We have a lot of stuff to look at over here. More blow mold pumpkins. Um, oh my gosh, I think these are the animated things. Now this is awesome and I would love to see this in action. Jabber and Jack. The face actually projects from the inside and it sings and talks, oh my gosh, for 45 minutes. Okay, yeah, so that is basically like these things we just looked at over here. These, uh, these string lights, and I showed you before, but I gotta look again. Those right there. The lights project from the inside and make a face. But that's just one much bigger one right there. That is awesome. I'd love to have a whole bunch of those on my porch. And look at this guy over here. Animated pumpkin. He's, I bet he's going to rip his head off, but I don't know what's going to be inside. Although, they gave it away. It says pumpkin with popping out skeleton. All right, here we go. <laughs> look at that. Oh my gosh, I love that so much. That is too funny. That is definitely going to be the thumbnail right there. All right, what is this? A grinning warbler. Whoa. It's soft. What the heck? Animated pumpkin. All right, hold on. Let's figure out how to get him going. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> that is too hilarious. That's why he's called a warbler. Oh my gosh. All right, and then we have the skull here too, which probably does the same thing. Is he gonna move? Uh, I don't know if he's just not working right, or let's try another one just, yeah, there we go. Yeah, that's what he's supposed to do right there. A warbler. He just like talking gibberish. All right, we got the animated pumpkins here. Wait, how do you, oh there, wait. Here we go. Okay. They look like there's a witch and there's a regular skeleton. And then that one looks like, is it a skeleton girl? I thought it was like a pirate or something. I thought that was a bandana, but I think it's hair. And look at the TV one here. They're on motorcycles going around and around. What are they even going around in? I don't know, some kind of a hillside or something. Wait, we got another one here. It's a skull with more skeletons. Ooh, there's music. What is up with that stance? <laughs> I wonder if there's supposed to be bikes under them or something. Or maybe they're just doing the skeleton dance in the cemetery. All right, let's check out these couple of little animatronic things here. The Wheel of Fate. Oh, I think I've seen this one before. Which, oh, here's the arrow. See what it does. Screams heading your way. Screams heading your way. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's do that one more time and see what the next one does. You don't wanna know. Okay, that was pretty simple. <laughs> All right, let's check out the phone here. Try me. Hold on, he's hooked onto another one. Okay, try me. Um, is that how you? Maybe you have to pick it up first. Is that a button? No. I don't know. I can't figure out how to make this one do anything. Maybe it's just not. We got the yellow thing here, so I guess we're not gonna get to see what the phone does. And then we have the cat. You gotta love a cat. Secret keeping cat. All right, let's get this thing going. <laughs> All 
<laughs> oh my gosh. That would drive me crazy. I wonder if his head is supposed to move. I don't think so. It doesn't look like it's uh, actually loose enough to move, but that was cool. Okay, we got a plasma skull here. Oh, that reminds me of the Goonies. Chunk with the laser beams. And then we have an animated snow globe. Yes. You gotta love the spooky music. And those are little bats flying around in there too. Okay, these guys are gonna kill me in here for setting all these things off. It's like silent in here otherwise. <laughs> I think the back wheel is supposed to be spinning. It looks like it's trying to. Oh, maybe this is the one she was telling me about. There was a lady that was telling me there's a dancing skeleton. Yes. <laughs> what the heck? I think he's trying to dance. Maybe he's just trying to get out of his cage. Okay, I've seen this one before the eyeball. Very quiet. I'm watching you, he said. Maybe he read the map wrong with his one eye. We got this one. <laughs> I think he said, just kidding, come on in. All right, we got the seesaw skeletons. Yeah, look at that. Look, we have the mini ceramic trees. We'll just do one of these real quick. Look at that, they light up and they got the pumpkin on top. Here's an orange one, that's cool. Little haunted house. I think this lights up too, but, oh yeah, okay. But then we have these fellows down here and you all know what these guys do. All right, hold on. He's rapping about Halloween. <laughs> like a, almost like a sidestepper. All right, let's see what this dancing pumpkin guy does. All right. I love the spooky old time music. I could listen to that all day long. Okay, let's make sure they're straightened up here. And then we got this guy. The bat on tombstone. Oh, there it is. <laughs> okay. Oh my gosh, guys, look at the size of this trick-or-treat bucket. I don't think it's really supposed to be a trick-or-treat bucket, but if I went trick-or-treating, this is the one I would use. And look at this, it's a little mummy mug for hot chocolate. He is awesome. I don't know why I love the mummies so much, but I do. They're just like cute little friends. Okay, hold on, hold on. We have a boo dog here. Oh, I thought he was gonna make sound too, but that's pretty cool. He's like a blow mold. It's a pupster dressed up like a ghost and he's going trick-or-treating. And we have a trick-or-treat tombstone. He's not making sound either, but he does light up. And look at this, this is hilarious. A mummy bowling game, mummy bowling. Look, it's ghosts and the bowling balls actually look like they have faces. All right, what is this guy right here? Motion activated skeleton. He plays the banjo. I wish there was one of these set up so we could see exactly what he does. Day of the Dead headstone, it looks like. And then we have the dogs, which are probably howling. <laughs> Look at his little tail going in the back. Watch this. That is so funny. You little pupster. All right, look at this, guys. They're getting ready to set this up right now. Hold on, let me see if I can show you. Yeah, huge 10 foot, nine inch inflatable archway. Welcome mortals. So that is gonna be set up right here. 
along with that skeleton guy that I just said I wish was out of the box. So I'm definitely gonna have to come back to show you that once it's set up. Okay, and one more thing, because I'm getting in their way here. We got the cemetery kit. Look, it's pumpkins and a headstone. Look how jolly the pumpkin looks. And then this is, is this another one? Skeleton spiders and web kit. Okay, so it's a skeleton and there's spiders in there too. And apparently there's a web in there too. And then you got this kit down here, which is another cemetery kit. Ghosts in the cemetery. And this one, which is like headstones and a skeleton. Uh, yeah, like you bury him right there in front of the headstone. All right, wait, I missed this guy right here. I gotta see what he does. Where can I put him? Right here, okay. All right, here we go. <laughs> okay. Okay, just laughing.